if you want to change the TPMS um, setting, so you want to change it from 50 down to 30 or something like that, you will need to get a pin from your dealer. Um, it's pretty easy and it's supposed to be free. Um, you go to the dealer, you bring registration for your truck um, and your driver's license that matches that. And assume, uh, assuming they can identify or prove that you are the owner, they can give you a pin. You want the four digit pin uh, for your vehicle and they'll give you a little printout. So the first thing that we want to do is connect. We're going to use Bluetooth here. Once that's set, I will select my car model, which for me is a 2500. Then for the function, going to hit body computer. So it should be right there. Body computer and then select my truck here and that should take us to this next screen here hit connect and perfect so first thing that we're going to do here is go over to active diagnostics right here on this screen and we're going to select update pressure threshold so we're going to go find update pressure threshold and there is toward the bottom, so go ahead and select that. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna select your desired pressure. So you have the front and the rear. So front, I'm gonna go ahead and set it to 35. The rear, I'm also gonna set, probably do 33. And then I'll go ahead and hit start. So right now it'll show currently that's 65 and 60, and I'll go ahead and hit next. And perfect, so now it shows that the procedure is completed. And there we go, 33 and 35. Perfect, so now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect. But the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna hit back here. Instead of the body computer, we're going to select radio frequency hub. and RFH right there. And then for the control unit, we're going to select this one. Take us to the next screen and that would then connect. So hit connect and there we go. And then again, we're going to go to active diagnostics and we're gonna select a procedure to start and we're going to select RF hub reset slash replace. Enter the pin hit start and then from there it says learning VIN and vehicle configuration please wait and basically you just wait for it and now you can see that the front pressure is set to 35 and the rear is set to 33 so we will no longer get the annoying TPMS uh, light flashing as we're driving around as well as switching to that screen every time you start up so switching this over is very easy and <laughs> I can't you know express how many cool things that you can do with uh, alpha OBD and of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll have a lot more information coming out about Alpha OBD. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put those down below in the comments and I'll do my best to try to help you out.